Everybody in Canada is born with a pair of skates on their feet, so it was uh, pretty easy to uh, play the game of hockey. I grew up in Elmira, Ontario. I played junior hockey uh, for the Elmira Sugar Kings. I played a couple years of uh, golf and hockey at university. And then once uh, golf kind of took over from hockey, I stopped playing hockey and parlayed that into officiating. No sticks! I think you have to be calm. I think you have to be extremely decisive. And I think communication plays a huge part in our job trying to build rapport with the players and coaches. I honestly, I thought it was just a collision. It's no different than, you know, your Sunday morning foursome with your buddies. The only thing I'm good at is golf and sometimes reffing. There's a lot of good nature ribbing. Did you hit guys like that in minor hockey? You gotta stick together because uh, it can get pretty hairy. Philadelphia penalty number 21, two minutes, cross check. You know these guys are out there kind of at war with the two teams. You know, you almost spend more time with your officiating crew than you do with your family back home. Refing is a, is a great job and a lot of fun, and um, it's provided me with the opportunity to chase amateur golf and chase playing golf at the highest level. Ah, is it nice, huh? All right. I'm at the course all day, every day in the summer, working out my game really hard. If you look at my swing, it's a bit of a slap shot motion as well. You kind of slide through the ball a little bit, which is pretty similar to the hockey shot. Smith five, rank five, Smith wins. In 2012, when I lost in the finals, I was a young guy. I just turned 25 two days before the U.S. Mid-Am started. If I would have won that week, I would most likely would have turned professional. Who knows where I would have been these days? You know, everything happens for a reason. I'm very happy with where I'm at. Garrett, can you talk a little bit about qualifying for the U.S. Open and what the last week has been like? Uh, well, what a dream come true for me. I've got a real job, so I would consider this like the pinnacle of my golf career this week. It was kind of like a luxury for me and my family and friends to go there and play. You know, not that I didn't have the right attitude going, but I was just happy to be there. It was very special, created a lot of memories for a lot of people and something I'll look back on with a very big smile as I grow older and finish up my golf career. If I had the choice between the, working the Stanley Cup Finals or uh, finishing top 10 in the U.S. Open. <laughs> I mean, the correct answer here is probably the Stanley Cup Finals, but I would love to, to do both. I don't think it's going to work out because the U.S. Open is during the Stanley Cup playoffs, but let's say in the next three years, finish in the top 10 in the U.S. Open, and then in five to 10 years from now, work the Stanley Cup Finals. Maybe do both. Not bad for a hockey ref.